as bad as Kez dares no lie. He's like, eh. No, he's done the whole story. Let's see it. Let's see it. Well, we can't read your story. We can't mm. see his story yet, but we'll just show you. You'll see, like. Oh, we don't fucking care. You're the no, one. Well, I just want to see your words. <laughs> we don't want to see no, the story. No, though, I just want to see some of your words. All right, let words. me show you some words. Um, invincible. You know? Um, uh, who cares? Come on, I don't care. <laughs> invitation. Who invitation. Cares? <laughs> but this is always got to be the best. <laughs> Fearlessly. It gets boring, guys. It gets boring. <laughs> Postgraduate. Oh, uh, shit. Well, I didn't care if we tried that. That was so mean. 4.24 p.m. Big Brothers gather the housemates on the sofas to present their stories. First up are Daniel and Nadia, and their story is about Michelle working as a successful model and leading a glamorous lifestyle. Meanwhile, in Newcastle, Chicken was in the middle of a photo shoot, her phone ringing in one hand and three makeup brushes in the other. Nadia, meanwhile, assumes it's just another. <laughs> That wasn't my idea, this is his creation. Jason and Michelle are next to read their story, in which Michelle and Shell are world famous ballerinas competing against each other. As the music began, Michelle's ballet shoe became undone. Was this the end of Michelle's dream? Suddenly, then, as if from nowhere, Florman Stu came to tie Michelle's shoe while she was in mid pirouette. This was unseen by all the three judges, Emma, Dan, and Kitten. It was then decided that the winner shall be on the toss of a coin. Shell chose heads, Michelle chose tails. The, co the coin was spun in the air until it finally landed heads. And Michelle was the winner. Oh, so 500 words. So Always oh, a cow now, big brother. Yep, 500. The last pair are Stuart and Shell. They have written a fairy tale where Shell is Stuart's fairy godmother who saves his life. As he fell so closer, closer and closer and closer, and closer, closer to, to the ground, ground. suddenly he, he felt, felt a jerk, jerk and hovering, hovering in mid air, he looked up to, to see the sparkling pink, pink excellent, excellent fairy shell holding him by the scruff of the neck. The fairy shell told Stuart of the first and buff, really, really, really incredibly strong ogre day, and how he blocked the gateway to the other realm, where her fairy friend Nadia and Michelle lived in their fairy castle. She told Jay to chill out. Happily and agreed to let them, them through, through the gateway. gateway. When, when they arrived, they were welcomed and found Dandolf already waiting there in his massive robe with his pipe on it and smiling broadly. <laughs> they did not know, know what, what would happen when they left the magic world, but, but they, they knew they would always be friends. Be friends. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good story. Okay. How could you get that I think so it was quick? Crap. <laughs> I think it was should I think this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> I, that no, I think yours was the best. I believe. No, I think yours was the best. This is Big Brother. The test is now complete. Would one pair bring all three stories to the diary room? Should we ask if we can just put the last few words on our story? No, because then we can do that as well. Well, as in the task. You've finished, already then. put words on that you shouldn't have put on, Stuart Wilson. <laughs> so no, you cannot. <laughs> We've read them out, so they are really on the story. Mm. 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 See what you've done, Stu. See what you've done. Chill out, man. <laughs> no, well, not chill out, thank you very much. Four thirty nine PM. All of the housemates are in the garden on the designated smoking bench. I like that story shelf part for I was the ogre. No, but the thing is <laughs> the thing is, um as she was gonna make you crash into a river and I said no, we'll make you nice <laughs> and actually just sort of fine as when he told you to chill out with the bus fly cake. And then we invited you for tea. Ah. There had to be some kind of twist to the story. Uh -huh. It couldn't just be straightforward, otherwise, yeah. you know, who would ever buy it? Yeah, it's not bad, actually. It's just one of the motifs of the story. I, yeah. would, I would read that story, actually. I like those kind of things. Yeah, I love fantasy stories. <laughs> well, you're better to do really badly at the next, at the next cast. 
so I can just be satisfied. Oh. Anyway, I think that um, okay. I think that Nadia's and Nadia and Dance is the best I'm gonna, bike for. Uh, <laughs> I know, I really do, Nadia. Look, I really do think. Don't yours do was that on a joke level. I'm not doing offensive. it on a joke level. I think yours was the best. I tell you, yours, your pot was the best last night. It was. Oh, no, that was true. But no, it's pushing it a bit too far now. Okay. Work, work, work. I had such ambitions for my story. Hi. You didn't take fast enough. I was football. Get down to the cigarette. My eggs. What are you thinking about? Nothing, just laundry. Yeah. Okay. Well, if not, we can strike things together. Do you want to do them, BPM. Daniel and Nadia are in the bedroom. For the duration of this week's task, housemates' makeup must be applied by their partner. Is that right? Open. Michelle and Jason are in the garden. Oh, I'm so looking forward to getting a good scrub. No, oh. just. Brush your teeth, yeah. wash yourself, scrub. Yeah, exactly. Just do what you want, you know. And... Yep. Just need... I feel like I don't want to keep saying it because it doesn't happen, but it's so only just to end today, like... It's just getting too much Another now. day would be too much. Shell is outside the diary room waiting for Stuart, who's talking to Big Brother. So how are you enjoying the task, Stuart? As, as a task as a whole, I'm finding it fine because Shell, she's just like, she's just, she just not bothered. She's just easy going, just, just roll around, do whatever. Just sort of entertaining, see how she uh, lives her life a little more closely. And then Kipping is fine as well. I had a mega sleep last night, so no complaints at all. Just um, the opposite of complaints, in fact. Compliments. Do you feel that the task has stopped you from doing anything? Um, I think uh, it's obviously restricting the amount of time that I'd uh, spend with Michelle, but apart from that, everything's cool. It's, I mean, it's just stuff like, I don't know, just getting a uh, sort of heartwarming cuddle and stuff like that that just uh, just can give you give you a lift and things that just um, not being out as free to be able to do that is uh, a bit of a bummer. There's less than two weeks left in the house. How are you feeling about your time here? Yeah. Um, well, obviously, especially with not knowing what's going on this week, you kind of just assume that you're just gonna you're gonna be, you're gonna be going at any time. So I mean, literally now, I just I can I can literally I can feel the embraces with the people that I'm gonna see out there and like, my best friends and my family. Uh, just how tightly I'm just going to hug them and just not let go is just immense. Five twelve p.m. Jason, Michelle, Daniel, and Nadia are in the garden. Last night, Nadia heard someone shouting about her outside the Big Brother house. Nadia, yeah. could you hear? Could you clearly hear people shouting? I um, I kind of hear them. I, I did hear my name. Well, we, did you hear my name? Yeah, it wasn't clear though. I mean, I, I wasn't sure that I'd heard her name until Nadia said I heard I her name. I think that. Well, do you know what I mean? 
It sounded familiar with my name. So well, uh, yeah, so you recognize I kind of recognize my name. You can see me. Mm. 